Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're gonna do something. I have no idea what it is because I have been playing on Silver Run Forest for the last week and uh, you guys have had regular Farming Simulator videos every day but it's been about a week or so since I've played just because I was ahead of you a bit. So I have to kind of get my head back in this game but I have to tell you something you guys if you are not playing or uh watching silver run forest it is it is fun i am so having a good time um on that map it's way better than i was expecting it to be and the map is just gorgeous and uh yeah so but make sure you come over and check out that series too if you're not uh already watching me or at least somebody else do yourself a favor and, and watch somebody play it um i'd like you to watch me but <laughs> Watch somebody play it or play it yourself it would be even better. It's just really fun. The Giants have done such a fantastic job uh, with the expansion. Okay, anyway, uh, what are we going to do? We have a few things we can sell. Um, our chores are all good at the moment. Uh, I think what I must have done the la right before I logged off last week was I, I think I got everything all topped off. So all the critters are in good shape. Uh, one of you guys actually made a good suggestion to me in the comments, too. You said that I should take the slurry. And just put that, take that to the bio plant because the bio plant's, you know, going to produce so much uh, digestate that uh, we might as well just put that into the bio plant and add to it. And I, I agree with that. I think we will, we will uh, start doing that. Uh, we might not do that in this episode, but I, I believe that's a good idea. Uh, so critters are good. Uh, chores, uh, everything is topped off in the greenhouses. In fact, looks like I totally topped off the greenhouses, which is great. Um, so that's taken care of. We have. Yeah, that's that's the normal thing with the fabric there. We've got a, a full thing of silage, which is being distributed to the biogas plant. And, um, you know, things are going to be different this January. We're not going to have a huge silage sale to do. I'm, we'll probably end up selling some of this, but, I, you know, I want to keep that biogas plant going, though, too. So I don't want to, like, sell all of it because we won't be able to cut more hay until March rolls around. So I just have to kind of figure that that out, I suppose. So anyway, yeah, we're in good shape on chores. Let's take a look at stuff to sell. Uh, I think I'm gonna we're gonna sell some straw only because we're gonna have a lot of straw next year with our two big uh, barley fields that we have. Uh, so we might as well, I, I'm not gonna sell all of it, of course, but we might as well sell a bunch of that because this is the time to do so. And flour, I don't even think we have any surplus flour, but bread uh, is we're gonna sell flour and bread. So straw, flour, and bread. Are the things that we're going to sell and then after that's done i don't think there's really anything else to do in december um so we just celebrate christmas with mama joe and then move on into january okay so let's see uh, let's do the bread first so we'll hop into our pickup truck here run over to the warehouse and load up the bread we have twenty four thousand and thirty five liters 25 pallets in total. Nice. <laughs> it's funny it's stacked it that way. Okay, who's going to offer the best price for our bread? Uh, let's take a look see here. 1720s 47 looks like mama joe's farmer's market that's awesome because it's right here on our property let's go make some money what speaking of money am i in debt at all uh no we are not that's a good place to be folks that is a good place to be There isn't really anything in the sales. There's a Massey Ferguson tractor that I have thought about, but I'm not sure if that's what we want to do because my next tractor that we get, and I do want to get another tractor, I want it to be at least 300 horsepower. Oh, I did that thing where... We're a little too far out. Okay, so we made 39,000 off of that. Um, yeah, we gotta put that on.
and another say three thousand. So we made about forty-two thousand ish off the bread. Okay, that's good. We'll take it. Uh, okay, what was the we we were gonna? I don't think we have flour. Let's look. If we have any flour at all, it's gonna be in our warehouse. Nope. Yeah, we don't have any flour at all. Okay, so we don't need to worry about selling that. So what I'm gonna do is get hooked up with the uh, the big truck and flatbed, and then we're gonna sell, I don't know, a couple loads of straw anyways, we'll see. We might as well sell most of it, just because I know we have a whole lot more coming this next season. Okay, let's offload some straw here. And where are we going to sell this? Probably, well, I don't know. Let's take a look. Because it can vary. Uh, we want to go back up to here. Straw. Uh, looks like South Valley Biomass has the better price, but they're dropping, so... We need to keep an eye on that. Uh, but let's go there first for the first load. And then we'll probably do, well, we'll do two loads for sure. Maybe even three. We'll just see where that leaves us. Thirteen thousand nine. Let's go get another load. Oh, that worked out. Okay, I think we're good um, on leaving that little amount of straw. We uh, have the cows already topped off anyway, and then, you know, we'll just need maybe one bale to make more TMR between now and uh, our barley harvest, which will be in June, I think. Maybe two, but there's plenty of, plenty of straw. So let's sell this last load. And then I think we'll be finished in December. Okay, so we basically made f over $40,000 in total off of those three straw sales. So not too bad. That brings us up to $248,402, almost a quarter of a million with no debt. It's a good place to be. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to move all the way through December. I'll bring you back in January, and then we're going to have a bunch more stuff to sell. This is basically just the selling episode. <laughs> all right, guys, it is now January the 1st. Let's uh, first of all take a look at our finances for December. And I don't know, do we go over them for November too? I can't remember. But uh, anyway, here they are. <laughs> Nothing really spectacular, I guess, to point out. Uh, we made 41866 by selling straw last month. And we made $155,664 from selling bread and from our greenhouses. Uh, let's see. Biogas brought in $62,000 last month, and we paid our workers $7,060. So we are now sitting at $410,532. Okay, so uh, like I said, lots of things to sell. Why don't we start by hopping in here and I've got silage bales. 
excess cell, uh, you know, that we got left over from contracts. Just trying to decide if I want to use the flatbed or the bale pickup. Yeah, let's just use the flatbed since we're already hooked up to it. And we'll do that first and then we'll start working on the other things. And then depending upon, you know, how our money ends up, um, that will kind of determine what we're going to do next. I have a, I have several more things planned for this series before it's all said and done. Uh, but one thing that's different this time around is, you know, we're not going to get a huge influx of cash all at once like we normally would because we've been getting cash all along. Um, so, yeah, let's just kind of see how things go. So we're going to do the silage. Uh, let's just do the small round bales. Well, yeah. And unload everything you got. Probably would have been more efficient to do the square bales, but I don't know. It feels a little bit weird that we put round bales in and then we just magically get square bales out. So <laughs> we'll go with the round bales just to be a little more realistic here. Okay, so let's load those up. And while those are loading, let's see who's got the best price on silage. We might sell some of our loose silage too. Um, okay, so it looks like Animal Dealer has the best price, though it is dropping. And the rest of these are our properties anyways. So, okay, cool. Uh, what we should be able to do is we should be able to have auto drive Animal Dealer. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember what, how my course is set up. Okay. Yeah, I think, um, well, I'll tell you what, we can have, we can have him drive out there, but I'm going to have to do the unloading, I think. So you just drive out there and let me know when you get there. Okay. Which way are you going to go, boy? Which way are you going to go? He's thinking about it. Okay, I think he's he's on track here. He can't decide whether to keep the lights on or off. It is a little dark, but I don't want to speed up the time right now because... Ooh, is he going to clear that fence? Yeah. Uh, because I don't want that price to drop. Okay, so what we're going to do in the meantime is... we're Here, let's top off our cows okay cows are topped off whoops uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in here and start loading up some of our other product to start selling Okay, let's take a look and see what what the deal is. So we we can sell milk, but we need the tanker for that. So we'll do that later after we get all the trailer stuff done. We can sell, I don't think we want to do, well, we could do flour and bread, but there's not enough of that to worry about. Um, Normally I'd wait till September to do cake, but I think we're going to go ahead and do cake now. Just because I, I want to make as much money as possible for what's coming up next. And besides, that price could change, you know, come September anyway. So uh, let's do cake. And where are we going to sell it? 30, 36, uh, the grocery store. Okay. Um, so let's get that going. Thirty pallets of cake. That's going to bring in some money. That is going to bring in some money. Yes, indeed. Oh, I forgot to um, do this. 
Okay, so that's 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, that's all of it. Okay, before we leave those, there's something else we can also take to the grocery store. Uh, butter and cheese we're going to sell, I believe. Yeah, butter and cheese is good this month. Good enough anyways. Um, we don't have any surplus sugar yet, but we will. And chocolate's kind of low right now. Uh, 21.92. Eh. We could still get a pretty decent price at the grocery store. Yeah, you know, normally I would wait till May, but I, I think we're going to sell the chocolate too for this reason I just said earlier. Uh, I want to get as much money coming in right now as possible. We'd make a little more money if we held out, but then again, if we hold out, it might fluctuate and not be so great. Anyway, so let's just do it now. Oh, that's all it's going to let me take. Okay, we'll have to come back for that other load because it won't... I don't know why it's not... There's plenty of room on there. Maybe it's a... No, it's not a weight thing because I have that turned off. Okay, whatever. We'll just make two trips. It's not like the grocery store is very far away. Fifty-two thousand bucks for that. Plus, we have a little more chocolate back at the farm. Let's go grab that. Ten thousand. So we made sixty-three thousand ish off of our cake and chocolate. Okay. Now, can you go back to warehouse load? Do I have warehouse load? Oh, I guess I don't have warehouse load. I did at one point, but I, I took it out. Okay. Well, then here, let's just do it this way. Um, let's just use the normal AI and get them over close to the warehouse. Set destination, and just pull in probably somewhere right about here. Oh, for Pete's sake. If you want something done, you got to do it yourself. Uh, I want to run out and, and check on our truck at the, at the animal dealer because he's sitting out there waiting for us, I'm sure. Okay, you stay here. No, he's not. For the love of Pete, man. It's been sitting there stuck the whole time and charged me money. Hate it when that happens. Okay, I think I'm also going to just use the regular. AI to just get him out there because I, I I don't actually want him to pull into our target there for this particular unload. It's a little bit different scenario. What do you mean you're blocked by an object? Oh, do I got you too close to the tree? There we go. Okay. All right, back to the pickup truck. And uh, what's next? Butter and and butter and what? Oh, cheese. Yeah, butter and cheese. Okay. Let's grab all the butter. And where are we going to take the butter and cheese? Let's go here. Um... Hmm. 
Mom at Joe's Mini Mart's paying over $1,000 for butter. That's where we're going. What about cheese? Cheese is the grocery store. Okay. Does the grocery store... Well, here. Yeah, we better do the butter separate from the cheese because I don't want to sell it at the wrong place. It's a lot of butter. That's all you're going to give me? Okay, we'll come back. Make a couple trips. I'm not quite grabbing that last pallet. Okay, so we made 14 grand off of that. So about $20,000-ish off the butter. Okay. Okay, where are we taking this again? Uh, the grocery store? 1992 at the grocery store. Yes. Okay, let's do it. $19,307 off the cheese. We are now over a half mil, which is a good thing. But we're not done yet. Okay, let's load up on milk. I think we're in pretty good shape in our dairy. Let's just double check. Yeah, we got 19,000 liters in there. That's fine. And the bakery's, like, almost completely full. Okay, so we will sell this. Let's get this guy out on the road, and then I'm going to send him... Well, actually, where is he going? That's a good question. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Milk. We are going to 766... Mama Joe's Farmer's Market. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just take it there ourselves. Ten thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Let's go put this tanker and pickup away, and then we'll start working on silage. I'm wondering though, do I want to get? All right, hold on. Let's let's think about something here for a minute. We've got almost here. Let's look at our biogas plant. It should be chocked full. Yeah, it's chocked full of silage, and we have um, in our silage factory about a million liters. We can definitely sell some of this, but I don't know that I want to sell all of it. So, um, but, hmm. yeah, we, we kind of need the man truck for that. I don't really want, I don't think I want to rent a truck because we don't have that much to move. I mean, there's a few loads in there, but not like a million bazillion. And not, not enough to warrant, I think, leasing a truck. Well, say so, okay. So wait a minute. It's gonna take sixty thousand at a time, and we have a million in there. So basically, if we sell say half of that, that's five to six trips. Yeah, I, I don't think that warrants leasing a a, a second truck. So I'm gonna. Well, we could actually use the pickup. No, we can't. Well, can we attach the pickup to that big red trailer? I guess I've never tried that. Let's find out. We, it would still probably be further ahead to drive out 
Yeah, let, let's not. Um, the reason for that is because I've set up the auto drive course with the man truck and not with this pickup. So let's go trade places with the man truck because this guy can haul the silage bales on that trailer. Oh, no, it can't. Yeah, the, t the tongue's too... Yeah, the tongue's too long, so it has to be the man truck for that, too. All right. If I can get this connected to the red trailer, and I'm not sure if I can, we'll have him haul the silage. If not, we're just going to have to wait. Uh, it really kind of depends upon how far back the pin is on this. It's not that far back. Yeah, we sh this should work. This should work in theory. Hopefully it'll work okay with the auto drive. Okay, so let's see. We need to... Let's get over near the silage factory. And I want to turn on the route just so I can kind of see what's going on here. All right, so um, let's do a quick save here first, just in case something gets screwed up. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to load. Well, first of all, we need pick up and deliver. Okay, I want you to load it. Silage factory one, load, and then unload at animal dealer. And I want air. What's what does that mean? I don't know. Uh, we want to set this to silage. And, okay, it should theoretically work. Let's just see what happens. We have to keep an eye on it, though, because otherwise he'll just keep going until it's completely emptied, and we don't want that. That's the unload. Why are you going in the unload? Oh, okay. Let's watch him for a second. See if he's going to figure this out or if he's going to be stupid. My guess is that I have so many auto drive routes on the property that it's probably a little confusing for it, for lack of a better way of describing it. Oh, then... I noticed too on um, Silver Run Forest map, if you set up Auto Drive to use the existing built in routes, uh, it's got all the intersections connected too, which is really nice because that's kind of a pain in the neck to do. Okay, it looks like she's going the right, the right way now. Let's just make sure she can get loaded up and not get stuck. And then we'll, we'll head out to Animal Dealer and. Uh, offload those silage bales and then we'll have at least one more uh, load of silage bales to do too. Yeah, she'll just turn off until she's fully loaded. I hope this truck can handle this. Um, the truck's got like 450 horse so it's pretty beefy but yeah, it doesn't I don't think it's going to have any trouble. This should be fine. Okay, good enough. Let's get out to here. And the way, the best way to unload this trailer here is to pull up right along up to here. As far up as you can go and then um, offload it, reload it, offload it, reload it, and offload it. There. Okay. I wasn't really paying attention to all of those figures, but we made money. That's the important thing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go get continue working on the rest of the silage bales while the AI works on the loose silage and I will bring you guys back with an update
here in a little while. All right, guys, we're back. I'm going to hook up one of the forage wagons. Well, actually, which one of these trailers of mine has the most capacity? I can't remember. Uh, I know the forage wagons have 50,000. What do these have? These have 52. Okay, yeah, we'll hook up one of those then. And have, um, yeah, I wonder if it'd be better to use a tractor. Because this, if we use the man for this, it might be too far back. Yeah, let's, let's use, uh, let's hook up the Fint. And, uh, get the Fint helping with the hauling. In fact, we could get the Fint and the New Holland helping with the hauling. But, I don't know that we need to get three of them going. I mean, we certainly could, but it's not like we're going to be doing this for several more hours. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm thinking out loud here. All right, I'm going to park you right here for now. Now, there's something else I'm going to do. And that is, if we go into uh, and look at st strawberries, strawberries are sell best in January. And I have got a, quite a surplus of those. Now, normally what I do throughout the year is I just distribute those to our strawberry greenhouse. But our strawberry greenhouse should be chocked full. Um, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. It goes from the strawberry greenhouse to the bakery for cake. And the bakery should be chocked full of strawberries. Yes, it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the output on the strawberries to sell. And then at the top of the hour, the game should just auto sell these and we'll get a nice little chunk of change uh, for 37,000 liters of strawberries. I do not want to deliver those manually. It's a big pain in the butt. Okay, so we'll change the output mode to selling. And, and then when um, 9 a.m. rolls around, that should sell and we should make some more money because we like to make money. Cool. All right, let's grab the Fint and hook up one of our Stroutman trailers and get at least two tractors going here on auto drive. Oh, it did it again. It puts me into the big M. And I suppose I, I could drive the new Holland and do the third one since there's, I don't have anything else to do. The more auto drive drivers we get going, the more I got to pay them. So makes sense for me to run one of them. So we're definitely, I'm, I'm thinking by the time we're done with all this, we're probably going to be around 700,000, maybe even close to 800,000. We'll see. I'm, I'm almost positive we'll be over 700,000, but I'm not sure if we'll hit 800. Especially once those strawberries sell. Okay, so let's just get you going right now. We want you, you're on pickup and deliver. You want to load at Silage Factory One, unload at Animal Dealer, and use Silage. All right, go to it. Make me proud. Don't be stupid. <laughs> and then we'll jump in the New Holland and do the same. So yeah, once again, guys, I'll bring you back with an update, probably right towards the end of selling the Silage. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, we are almost finished with the silage. I've got 100, 101,000 uh, liters left. I uh, I decided we're going to sell all of this just because we only have to get through February, and then we'll have our first hay cutting in March, and I'm pretty sure my biogas plant's not going to run out uh, in one month It's you know because it's already chocked full. Uh, so I actually have four vehicles in total going. I have the New Holland, the Fent, and the Man all running auto drive, and then I'm running the Flegel trailer here in the pickup truck. Uh, but by the time the rest of them cycle through again, the, the, the silage factory will be emptied out. So we are at $736,000, as you can see. When I'm finished with the silage, 
uh, and I kind of get everybody, uh, everything put away and all that. I'll bring you guys back. We'll fast forward the time to 9 o'clock to see how much we get for our strawberries, and then that should conclude our selling for January, and we'll see what our final, um, final tally is. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are finished with the silage. We're currently sitting at 776.994. Let's go ahead and speed up the time to 9 a.m. to get those strawberries sold. Um, did they sell? Yeah, I think they did. Yep, they sold. Uh, so there's only 54 left in the warehouse. Okay, so we want to set these now back to distributing. There we go. Okay, so the final tally for the end of January sales is $788,768. Make you holla. That's pretty good. That's very good money, actually. A little more than I thought we were going to bring in, all things considered. Okay, guys, so um, let's look at the sales for a second. There's a, a, a 900 Vario here. This is a medium tractor. It would cost us 179 for 415 horse to buy it. How old is it though? 34 months. Hmm. Yeah, I, you know, as we advance, I'm, I want to start getting away from buying really old stuff. Well, it depends upon what it is. Just because, you know, the repairs are getting getting bad. <laughs> getting bad. So um, alright. The plan. I'm going to advance to March 1st. We will start the next episode on March 1st, and you will see what we're going to do next. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and make sure you come and see me on the Silver Run Forest map, too, uh, in the logging series. We're having a heck of a fun time, and I'd like to see you there, too. Okay, bye-bye.